if you really rock with me, like if you're really down for the cause and you want to see me succeed, this is a good thing for me in terms of financial stability. So it's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Yes, hello and welcome to this installment of a home cooked meal fit for a king. Today we have some ribs, broccoli, which will be about to be very cheesy straight out the Pyrex. And we got some sort of Mexican Spanish rice. I kind of repurposed some leftover taco stuff from the other night into a Spanish rice for an amalgamation of deliciousness that is going to go in my mouth. Now, before we do anything more, we must pour. And we're going to pour from the coldest water bottle over my shoulder here. If you like to keep your beverages as frigid as the hearts of the trolls and haters in the comments for up to 36 hours at a time, that's how you're going to want to do it with for me at least the 21 ounce this is the ballet practice you know this is the take to work take in your car that size that's the size i roll with so if you want to get your very own you go down below you click on the link you purchase you save 10 percent with code hoodie and also you can enter in their weekly giveaway to win your own free bottle so if you like the idea of helping and supporting me out at all through getting yourself a snazzy water bottle to help yourself out in this life of needing cold beverages do so in the links below all right so we got our iceberg today we got this weird very phallic cube from the old christmas cubes so we're going to reach back here into the coldest water bottle guy and see what we got and it's a water today sorry to disappoint you but given my diet pop addiction lately we're going to have to put a little bit of a nano on that and just keep it a little more healthy for a little bit here and this is a very homegrown meal and I think it deserves just a nice H2O to, to keep it clean. You know what I mean? So I'm the kind of guy that takes my broccoli extra cheese, eh? So I whipped up a nice little cheese sauce here. And I'm terrified that that is going to run out everywhere. But we will see. We will cross that bridge. I do see some water leaking here from the broccoli already. So we are having a leak of an issue. Plug in a little napkin here. So I got this cheese running everywhere on the broccoli. I do need to get into this. And then I do actually want to address just the coldest water and just share some thoughts, feelings, opinions uh, relative to, you know, brand sponsorships and things like that. And, and being a YouTuber and YouTuber being a job and things like that. So let's have something to eat first though. I wasn't expecting the sauce to get so runny, but I think basically there was residual water in the actual broccoli itself. So when I poured the cheese through, the water would run. Thin it out and make it runny. But Lucky for me, I'm still whipping the Pyrex and getting that good cheese. That good, good cheese. That thick cheese. Triple C thick. Just such a magical combination. All right, I'm gonna consult my blade here for these ribs. Now these ribs are Swiss chalet, like pre-cookers. You just basically heat them up. And I've never done this, but I am gonna do it now. Do a bit of a cheese drag. What can I say? For a 
very convenient pre-cooked pack for a very convenient pre-cooked $10 pack of ribs. They are delicious. Pretty much as good as anything I can make at home. Got some chicken and rib craft classic. Maybe just drape it right in there and <laughs> make the flood worse. Well, I guess so. Did you think I was going to go a whole video without throwing extra sauce on these guys? was never going to happen. Nah. These home made meals, I just should have anticipated that cheese, but they just get so messy. Like, so incredibly messy. But isn't that the best way? I guess so. That barbecue sauce. It's definitely taking these bad boys. next level <laughs> brought the gym towel today <laughs> it's rag day laundry day it's rag day laundry day here right now all the rags that I've used up are getting washed So I told you guys I want to address and touch on the coldest water in this just a little bit here for you. Just from my perspective and from, you know, my whole feeling about it now that I've been reached out to and been sponsored by them or basically, yeah, they're a sponsor, but it goes both ways. You know, I kind of help them. They help me. Um, a lot of people get on people's ass for taking sponsorships and, you know, just kind of it's there's a lot of negative connotation around it. But um First off, I didn't know how good the program is with these guys. So shout out to the coldest water for hooking me up because um, honestly, I get why people do it now. I get why people take it. It's incredibly rare in YouTube to find a sponsor that is as, you know, I guess monetarily, I don't want to say supportive, but um, incentivized like in a way that you can kind of put your mind at ease uh, financially a little bit because you know that you have the ability to have them support you that way as long as you include the product in your videos. And for a channel of my stature, you guys know that, I mean, first of all, I'm just I'm trying to go all in here. I'm trying to make shit come true. Trying to make dreams come true. And so many of you have always said like, you know, the algorithm did you dirty or why are you so slept on? Why haven't you blown up yet? Like, why aren't you bigger? And obviously when you're bigger, you make more subscribers, more views, 
you make more money, you're more financially stable, you can actually commit to this thing full time and you have more resources to reinvest in yourself and your videos and um, just even buying the food, like the food for these videos gets expensive. Like mukbangs isn't really the best business model if I'm honest with you, if you're gonna start a channel, like you have to understand that to make your videos appealing, you're gonna have to spend money and it's not cheap, it gets expensive. And uh, while my channel is like slept on, you know, I wouldn't disagree given the years of effort I've put in, the level of effort I put in trying to do the cooking stuff and just trying to step up my quality all the time and trying to be entertaining and tell stories and bring different elements of myself to this channel. And, you know, you see a bunch of other people who do you know, a quarter of what you do, yet they're may, way more successful. And I don't know what that's about. I don't want to dwell on that. Uh, that's not what this is about. But what it is about is that I'm blessed and grateful to actually have these guys in my corner now because with them, I have now a level of, you know, extra security that I know for certain that if I make my videos with this bottle, I can basically pay my rent and then still have my YouTube earnings to fuel the rest of my like life bills, uh, food for the channel, things like that. So I'm incredibly thankful to the people at the Coles Water for bringing me on to the team. Like, I'm really happy to be a part of it. I'm happy to represent it. And the product is actually good. So um, it's just, it's really good for me. I'm really happy. And if you mess with me as an audience member, um, though you might find the addition of the, that it did in the intros a little bit off-putting or whatever, um, if you really rock with me, like if you're really down for the cause and you want to see me succeed, this is a good thing for me in terms of financial stability. So... I just want to make that clear. I'm not, not uh, trying to like sell out by any means. And that's the other thing too that I want to touch on is that in 2020, let's face it, YouTube is the new TV. YouTube is a legitimate like career and job and source of income, way of living, way of life for a lot of creators who give their heart and soul to, to this thing that they do. And it's like, would you go to work for free? No. Would you, would you decline a raise? No. At work, if somebody offered you a promotion or more, more money, you wouldn't take it. Of course you would. Because money fuels the world and money allows you to have more, less stress, more stability, more resources, in my case, to reinvest in myself and in my dreams. I just hate when there's this narrative around YouTube that's like, it's not a job or... That is not hard work. It's like you guys have no idea how hard this this job is. There's so many dynamic elements to this to this. First things first. You just have to be willing to be mentally tough enough to handle it, to put yourself out into the public eye. Try that. Try putting yourself out there just to be judged and scrutinized and hated upon or loved, which in my case is loved a lot. That right there is worth something to me. And then beyond that, just all of the hours of the planning, the cooking, the cleaning, the 
that like that's, I know it's like everybody says, oh, like I cook and clean in my own life too. You're like that's fine, I get it, whatever. But it's different when you're doing it for a camera when you have like a setup and it's just different. <laughs> you have to think of the aesthetics, all that stuff. You gotta set your setup right. You gotta get everything ready like that. You gotta conceptualize something that's gonna it's like a lot of mental work you gotta conceptualize something that's gonna draw in viewers you gotta think about something to talk about or be interesting and then beyond that you have to do all of the loading off of the footage the editing of the footage for me color correction you gotta do your thumbnails you gotta do the upload time you gotta do your hat your tagging Like it is not a simple like, oh, you showed up and ate food on camera for 10, 10, 20 minutes. Like it's not, it's not like that at all. <clears throat> so I guess in summary, I'm only going to address this once in this video and then from here on out it'll just be whatever i'm not going to talk about this again but i just want to say that i am actually very grateful and happy to be working with this company because any company who helps me further my goals and dreams uh, by helping out monetarily is a company i can ride with for sure It's also the reality of the situation. I know a lot of people, you know, you grow with a certain YouTuber and you start, you see them at the bottom and you see them low and doing things with like integrity or whatever. And as you grow, as they grow, or they say they blow up some it's just the nature of the beast that on basically a television platform at this point that's driven by companies and ad revenue and that type of money. And that's how we earn our money anyway, is just through ad, ad revenue as it is. As you get bigger and you have more visibility in the platform, it's just inevitable that you're going to be approached with uh, opportunities to team up with companies and help each other to make more money. It's just inevitable. And I know I was like a, like a day one diehard, like I saw you get it from the mud type fan. There could be a level of disappointment or like, oh, your videos have a different vibe now. Like they're not the same as they used to be. They're not as pure. They're not as wholesome. They're not coming from a place of integrity. It's like, no, it's still the same person. It's still the same content. It's still the same guy. But it's like, you know. <laughs> Life ain't free, man. Like, I don't know about you, but I don't know who pays for all your stuff. Car, gas, mortgage, cell phone, etc., etc. And, uh, Let's be honest, the golden days of YouTube, when they were like prime prime, those are long gone.
the uh, you know YouTube's become a very politically correct, very <laughs> almost communist governed like very PG almost family rated censored platform and for you to actually still make some pretty good money is like you have to basically bend to that advertisers want to put ads on content that is you know consumer friendly like it's not polarizing it's not like graphic and nature and shit so explicit etc so it's tough you definitely have to kind of reassess your content sometimes and fall in line a little bit which sucks what it is man YouTube has just turned to a space where people make money it's the reality of it and money reigns supreme that is what it is has a nice little meal fairly chill I got to express my opinions and feelings on my current new situation here and uh, I'm excited for the future because finally today I locked in some big news. So it's very good. My life is about to get a lot better. Our life is about to get a lot better. Things are about to get uh, a lot more fun, a lot more high energy, a lot more involved, a lot more back to my roots on a more elevated level. So. Please stay tuned, please stay with me. And uh, yeah, hit the subscribe, hit the like, and uh, until the next one, you know what to do, eat good, live well, stay true.